lot of the time people, when they go into meditation, they lose focus. They end up mind is drifting somewhere else and they start thinking about what am I eating today? Or where am I going? And <laughs> yeah, things yeah. like that. Um, so I think that um, a focusing activity they can do is Namaste creators, welcome back to another show of AMA, as Master Anything. My name is Angela and today we have the pleasure to be with Master Shia Karshner. Namo Himalaya Master. Namo Himalaya. So today we have a very special question all the way from Italy. We have Alex Alessandro and he says, Hi Master from Italy, Namaste. My question is, how to avoid falling asleep again during the meditation I do in the morning? how to keep the focus on meditation so as to manifest what I want. We of, uh, we of our tribe called Business Box Mentor follow you and apply your lessons every day. So many thanks for everything. God bless you all. That's a wonderful question. Mm -hmm. And I think that a lot of people uh, uh, don't really own up to falling asleep in meditation. <laughs> and some people, some people they, they question, did I fall asleep or was I really in deep state? But most of the time, sleep. they <laughs> fell asleep, yeah. So, uh, first of all, I noticed that the question was about morning. Mm -hmm. um, we always practice meditation after physical practice for that reason. Some people, they wake up in the morning and first thing they do is meditate. Sometimes Nepal when you wake up, yeah, it's just like if you wake up in the morning and you're, you're still not quite awake yet, body's not awake yet, energy is not moving yet, and then you close your eyes again, you're going to fall back asleep. Yeah. So that will be very tough. So I would highly recommend that um, do physical practice. Um, it wakes the body up. Mm -hmm. uh, when we talk about major and minor chakras, it will open up all the energy flow. Energy will flow all around the body. So that will really help. Um, I mean, falling asleep during meditation is all to do with your energy. Mm -hmm. Is your energy vibrant? Is it active? Is it alive? If I was to look at the average uh, body out there, the average mm -hmm. person, then energy is not vibrant. It's mm -hmm. reality. And the reason behind it is to do with, obviously, physical movement. Uh, because a lot of people, they don't exercise, they don't move their body much. And mm -hmm. even some who do, let's say even weightlifters, right. it's not full body energizing. It's just, it's just they are working on whichever parts they're working mm -hmm. on in that moment. And so that's why when we do our um, Y4M practice, that's why we always start from toe all the way up to head and every, mm -hmm. every energy point is opened up, you see. So that's very important, the physical. The second thing is obviously diet. Mm -hmm. Um, when people eat a lot of carbs or a lot of sugars, it's easy to get into food coma. And so <laughs> yes. falling asleep is easy as well. Um, so that will use up a lot of energy. Um, and the final thing that uses a lot of energy is thought. Mm -hmm. If we are overthinking things, that's why we get stressed. We get tired of thinking, you see? So those things to minimize will, will, will allow your energy to be a little bit more vibrant. Just as a bonus tip as well, I think that uh, media, technology, mm -hmm. if people are using and swiping phones nonstop, it, I, I don't know if you've had it before. Sometimes you just can sit there, you do this, you do this, and then suddenly you just feel really tired. Yes. Right? Yeah, so technology can do that. So I would say that early in the morning, don't touch technology if you're going to be doing your morning practices. Mm -hmm. So I think with these things, if they were to apply all of it, which most people don't mm -hmm. because it's a lot of work, um, but if you apply to every, every, every single day, then for sure, um, it's not going to happen instantly. It's not mm -hmm. like tomorrow will be different. There'll be an adaption uh, period. Mm -hmm. The first like week or even month may feel even more tired, right? right. Because you, your body's not used to it. Mm -hmm. But after that, then it'll become uh, stronger and stronger. So I would highly recommend those practices for everybody, whether they're practicing meditation or not, mm -hmm. because it's good for your health, good for your body, good for your spirit. Um, and then the final point was about focusing. Mm -hmm. I think that a lot of the time people, when they go into meditation, they lose focus. They end up, mind is drifting somewhere else and they start thinking about, oh, what am I eating today? Or where am I going? And <laughs> yeah, things like yeah. that. Um, so I think that 
um, a focusing activity they can do is to just light a small candle, mm -hmm. a little tea light is okay, and do a tea light meditation, candlelight meditation. So all they do is they focus on the light mm -hmm. and they focus intensely, they keep staring at the light. When their mind distracts the thoughts, they think about something else, focus back on the light. Do that five, 10 minutes a day, just focus purely on light, no other thoughts. And if they can do that five, 10 minutes a day, they do that for 21 days, 30 days, something like that, they'll find that their focusing power and their productivity in life is so much more powerful. Yeah, I think, um, you know, for, for those creators who would like to, you know, maybe practice yoga and, and you don't know where to start, actually, I would like to um, share in our app, mm. uh, in our creators app, if you happen to download it first, you can ask questions like this. Mm, but not only that, we actually have, Master has uh, post uh, different levels of yoga. So if you're a newbie, um, you can go there. Beginners. Uh, beginners. Then we have the intermediate exactly. and we also have the advanced. Yeah, so well. if, if depending where you are, like it's completely free, you just download it and you can start at least that side of the practice. And there's a lot you, of meditations in there as well. Exactly. And then you also have at the end meditations guided by master. So it's a very nice way to start if you are serious into getting those manifestation powers unchecked. But master, thank you so much for this beautiful um, teachings is very powerful and we'll see you in the other show. Thank Namo you. Himalaya Master. Namo Himalaya. So guys, if you have enjoyed this video or have learned anything at all, please comment on the, on the comments below. Also, if you have learned or like anything, click the like button. And last but not least, make sure to subscribe. So every day there is a new episode. Of but for now, guys, see you on the next episode. Namo Himalaya. Namaste. Namaste.